Hi, my name is Jessica. In this video, you will learn about what happens during CT simulation as part of your radiation therapy plan. Your healthcare team uses CT simulation to determine the radiation treatment fields and map out a plan. Anyone receiving radiation therapy must first participate in the CT simulation planning session. The CT simulation session lasts anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes and will most likely be your longest visit to the Barnhart Cancer Center. Unless the radiation oncology nurse provides any specific instructions, you will not need to do anything different to prepare for your CT simulation session. You should plan to just eat, drink, and take your medications as usual. Depending on which part of your body we are going to treat, you may need to drink either a contrast to make things show up better or drink water to make your bladder full. The CT simulator does not deliver the radiation treatment. It does, however, allow the radiation oncologist and physics staff to see the area being treated. A CT scan is basically a three-dimensional X-ray. We use the output to create or construct a virtual 3D image of the scanned area. The team uses this image to develop a treatment delivery plan, the best and most precise plan for you. The reason for the simulation portion of your radiation therapy regimen is to ensure the treatments will target the area of concern while also missing the surrounding critical structures and healthy tissue. Basically, we want to be able to zap the bad stuff and avoid the good stuff in your body. During simulation, you will lie on the treatment table. Your job during the entire CT simulation process is to hold still, breathe normally, and relax. It's especially important for you to try to avoid any movement. We will position you in the precise way you will ultimately be treated. We begin the simulation by creating an immobilization device. We will use this device throughout the entire duration of your treatment to help hold you in the same position each time you receive treatment. We typically use either a mask or a back lock. Let's first take a look at the mask. If your treatments are near the head and neck area, we will use a mask. To shape the mask, we warm the plastic in warm water, then stretch it over your head and neck. Because the mask has holes, you will be able to breathe and see through it. We clamp the mask to the table in order to hold your head in the same position every time for your treatments. Now, let's take a look at the vac lock. When we provide radiation therapy to the torso or body, we create a cradle or mold for this area with something called a vac lock. A vac lock is a cushion filled with small styrofoam balls. When we suck out the air from the cushion with a vacuum pump, the vac lock becomes rigid. We will place you on a vac lock bag, then vacuum out the air to create a custom form or mold that perfectly matches the shape of your body. We will make tiny marks on the mask on the vac lock or on you. To ensure your treatments are precise as possible, our radiation therapists use these reference marks to position you accurately and correctly each time you're here. Next, we will perform the CT scan. With your mask or vac lock mold in place, it is now time for the CT scan. During your scan, we watch you through a window while the scanner acquires the images. You will feel the table move as it goes in and out of the scanner. When the scan is done and we slide you back out of the scanner, we will ask you to remain still so the doctor can review the results and decide where to put the marks. After your radiation oncologist locates the exact area to be treated, we will mark your skin with several small freckle-sized tattoos. We use these tiny permanent dots to make sure we accurately position you at each treatment session. The radiation therapists use the tattoos to set you up in the exact same position you are in today. We create the tattoos with a little dot of ink and a needle stick. You will be able to bathe without worrying about washing off the tattoo marks. Anytime later, you can wash off the black magic marker we use today. Feel free to ask anyone at the Barnhart Cancer Center if you have any questions about CT simulation or anything else related to your treatments. Thank you for watching.